Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Sundial Grow, ticket symbol SNDL. And we're going to talk about the recent, the today's drop. And we're going to talk about what we're going to do and what, how we should deal with this. But before you, this video starts, if you haven't liked this video and I found it helpful, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. We're really close to 700 and I want to get to 1,000, preferably by the end of April or even the end of this month, if that's possible. So I would really appreciate any support, guys. And other than that, let's get straight into the video. So we're looking at SNDL today and you know, we're having a 12.75% drop today as of market closing. We're at 1.3, uh, post market of 1.31, so it's really not that relevant. Um, I'm gonna talk about the reason why we had such a big drop today. And I'm gonna talk about what um, we should look at in the future. So the big drop today, the reason why is because they just did another um, stock selling. They're doing, um, so in the, um, Sandal described plans to conduct an equity distribution whereby it will create up to 800 million worth of new common stock and sell it from time to time through. Um, dot, 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 a sale agent. Sandal described how his shares have experienced extreme volatility, ranging in price from as low as 0.14 per share to as high as 2.95 per share over the past, not, past year, despite there being no recent change in our financial condition or, or result of operations. Now what? Why Sandal felt it's necessary to describe this volatility as part of his sales prospects it's unclear, but logically, the disclosure might serve two purposes. First, it might explain why Standard is not proposing to tell his shares any specific price because the white price wobbles so much. Second, it might imply an intention by management to take advantage of these price zooms by refraining from selling shares when its share price seems too low, but bouncing, uh, but pouncing on price spikes to sell shares when they are more popular. That will explain the from time to time language. It would also, I suspect, be the best thing to shareholders, helping Sundial to raise the greatest amount of cash while inflicting the least amount of stock dilution upon the shareholders. So this last thing um, is something that I want to explain first and kind of look at. And so essentially what they're saying here is, obviously um, they want to sell 800 million worth of new shares. And you know, if they were to sh sell it at 174, you know, it would take less shares um, then if it, obviously if they were selling down here at 0 0.48 so and that you know obviously that will reduce then um you know go back to this that will help um inflicting the least amount of stock dilution upon the shareholders so essentially you know by selling at a higher price they're able to reach that 800 million sooner with with a lower amount of shares but if they were to sell at a low price and they have to have more shares but that would dilute more um shareholders because they have to create more stocks and essentially that's what that is you know and so right now, what um, is kind of this is implying is that there's two kind of things that is implying here. Firstly, you know, it you can look at it as a good thing. Um, I know there are some people I think that watches my videos have invested in Sandal. I think all the way down here when they were in the the um, underneath the dollar mark or some some even like at zero point four eight price. You know, so I know there are some people down there kind of buying at the stock. In which if you are, you know, you're in a very good position now despite you know still being four dollars you're still a, a, a very large percentage up but you know um essentially what Sandow is saying right now is because obviously there's no um actual reasons apart from really market sentiment for why they're um at the price they are now because they have no um significant news of those recently there was their joint venture but essentially what they're saying there's no good financial news there's no good um in, like major news and that's why they are kind of um, unsure whether or not they can with um, withstand their price um, where they are right now. And so that's why they're taking advantage of it now. So I'm talking about something good and something bad about this. I'm going to start with the bad news first. Um, the bad news is clearly, you know, their SNDI itself is uncertain and not as confident as the actual investors itself if they can obviously hold the price they are now hence these um, stock sales. But the good news is that, you know, the more they take advantage of the situation in now with the position, with the price they are, they're getting, you know, the more they can do in the future and the more growth they will have in the future. So really, you know, if we're talking about in long-term investments with the cash they have now, it will be set up to be a very good long-term investment. And, you know, we could possibly see Sundar, and I'm sure not a lot of people want to hear this, but it's a potential that we can see it drop a bit more and, um, but buy it, but like, if you guys do think that um, there's potential in, in the industry that Sundar is in, which is the cannabis industry, obviously, and you think that with their cash, they're able to do more, then any price you're getting now is very good because they will have more cash to do 
more um, investments, more M and A's, you know, and stuffing, etc., which will help them to have to reach a greater value. So that's the, obviously the good news. Now we're going to look at some of the um, technical right now of S and DL. Firstly, uh, something that is just kind of out here right now is this. This is the 50 uh, moving average. For the last two times when SNDR has reached the 50 moving average, we see a very big bounce and we see a massive um, price spike. So the first time being here, second time being here. And now first time we are reaching to the 50 MA. So for anyone potentially looking for a swing play, you know, this could be a swing opportunity. You know, we've broken out of this little triangle and broken out of the zone and this um, resistance right now. So we are looking at a lot of selling pressure still. You know, and so we are reaching this 50 MA. We could touch this 1.15. It, it seems like that's what we're reaching right now. But the last time, obviously, we reached this low. You know, I said that this was a good price to buy at. It was a 54% gain. And again, you know, we are reaching this 50 MA now. So we can, we can, you know, for those of you who are interested, could look at this as a swing potential and a swing opportunity. You know, so you kind of have to make a plan around that. But I'm just going to hint it. I'm going to kind of highlight this now that I do think that we are looking at sort of a play when it touches the 50 NA and also when it reaches this 1.15 to 1.10 zone. Um, in terms of what I kind of want to see now is that obviously with how Sundial is kind of doing this, again, it's implying that they're not confident in the price they are now. So we could you know, even see Sundial dropping very low again. But I think down the line, one year, two years, for, for those of you who are willing to hold on this for a very long time and do believe in, in the value, you know, with the money that they make now at the price, we are looking at a very good future. As you know, as long as they obviously spend um, their money correctly and smart, you know, obviously we have to do have to account account that in. But you know, so far right now, you know, with obviously today selling, I do want to see how it reacts right now. But it looks like, you know, the last time we saw this, S and D R went back up again. So this time, you know, we could looking at a potential kind of right now. This is obviously the high. And we're looking at a higher low before bouncing back. Obviously, we could you know go to the 50 MA before bouncing back. So we could be looking at something like this. This is a potential. You know, I do want to kind of um, see how it goes tomorrow. Will kind of be a um, indication. We'll see how tomorrow reacts to the 50 MA. You know, obviously to the, tomorrow it could possibly reach the 50 MA. If we were to close below it, you know, then we're not. We could possibly not look at any reversal. We're not look at. We can't see any bounces. But if it does something like this, whereas it touches it. And we can see a lot of um, buys coming in, and we see a big wick, you know, uh, or at least relatively large wick. You know, then we could be looking at a potential bounce play. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. Again, I, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this month. If, if I can reach that, you know, I'd be really grateful, and I appreciate any support you guys can give me. Anyway, other than that, guys, enjoy your day.